Hi guys, welcome to Jackie with a Q. Uh, thanks for being a part of the Jack Squad. I'm glad you guys are tapping in today. So, today is Free Game Friday, right? And as you know, on Free Game Friday, uh, my subscribers give me a question and I give um, my wit and knowledge and game about that situation, right? And, um, you know, uh, it could be a serious thing, right? And <clears throat> today is serious, you know. Um, today, we're going to talk about pain when you're in pain, you know, mental pain, anguish, right? Not uh, like you hurt your toe or something, but just like pain, right? Okay, guys, and don't forget, I'm looking, I forgot to mention in my last few episodes, uh, I do have wigs for purchase, right? This one here is called Jasmine, and I've taken a liking to it, right? I've never been a big hair kind of girl, but I'm taking a liking to this one, okay? Um, so at any rate, uh, but I have more, you know, and I can tell you where I get them from. You can get them from me. I also have a uh, younger cousin who does a phenomenal job in making wigs, and I'll give you her information as well uh, when I wear her wigs. Um, but at any rate, uh, we're going to talk about pain today. So... Pain is a, is a, depending on the level of pain, right? But whatever the, whatever the level of pain is, first thing you have to do again is you have to pray to whoever you're praying to. You know, you have to pray. But I believe a lot of times when you're in pain that you need to, you need, depending on the type of pain it is, you need to have the support of some, of loved ones. Really sincerely. Uh, people that love you really and sincerely, right? Because a lot of times if you go through things alone, I've done it. This is what I'm telling you. I've done it. And it makes it worse. If you have somebody loving on you, holding you, hugging you, sometimes all you need is a hug, right? And, but because of the way that I grew up, I'm used to dealing stuff, dealing with stuff by myself, Right? Which is not really a good thing. I, I know that now that I'm older, but that's something that I—that's just the way I handle things because I've been doing it all my life. And again, that will be in the book, right? Um, you know, my life experiences, you know, are what made me. That's what makes all of us, right? And um, some sometimes you need to learn how to unlearn some stuff, right? And that can be difficult, especially as you get older, right? That can be difficult. But when you're going through pain, first thing, I'm going to say this. I don't care if you're a man, woman, or child. It is okay to cry. It is okay to cry. Crying cleanses the soul. If you hold that shit in there and let it sit and eat on you, it'll make you sick, right? It's okay to cry. You know, I, have, you know, I haven't cried lately, but I've had, well, I take that back. I almost had a nervous breakdown not too long. I have many nervous breakdowns, right? Um... But uh, why was I crying? I can't remember. I don't know. I don't know. But at any rate, um, it didn't have been that much. But uh, sometimes, I, you know, for me, myself, I can let stuff weigh on me, weigh on me, weigh on me, weigh on me, weigh on me. And then, it, then I have an outburst, right? Uh, that's not good. But um, when you're in pain, it's okay to cry. Cry as much as you need when you need. You know, it's okay to cry. Because crying, like I said, cleanses the soul. And it will help you. After you cry, you feel a relief. You know what I'm saying? You feel a relief. And you need to cry so that you can let that go and put some good stuff in. That's my opinion. You know, because a lot of times after you cry and you get it over with, you cry, you cry, you cry, you pray, you cry. And then you, 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 your thought processes are ready to go. Your juices are ready to flow. Your mind is clear because you've let all that bad shit out, right? And I, especially for black men. You know, black men are the toughest things in the world. And I appreciate that. But, you know, it's okay to cry. It's, just, it's okay to show your emotions. You know what I'm saying? Um, as long as you're not violent. But, you know, it's okay to cry. It's okay to have emotions. You know, um, it's just okay. You know what I'm saying? And, and, you know, when you're on pain, when you're in pain, it's okay to tell someone. You know, tell somebody. If it's a stranger. You know, I, like I said, I had an auntie. I, my aunties were the best in the world. And I got nuggets from them that I... Didn't know what to do with at the time, but I know now, right? Um, you know, uh, tell a stranger. 
we get, just get it out your system. Get it out your system. You know what I'm saying? Whatever your pain, whatever pain you're going through, get it out your system. You know, but the most important thing to do is just get on your knees and fall and give it to God. I mean, give it to him. You know what I'm saying? And keep giving it to him until you get a result or until you get a thought, or until you get a resolve. You know, because um, pain is pain. And, 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 and also, you have to go through pain. Sometimes you got to go through pain to get to the other side, to the good stuff, right? So, pain is something that's a part of life. That's a part of life. And you just that's just something that you have to deal with. Now, for those of you who have um, mothers and fathers and grandmothers and person of wit, elders, those are the people you get to. Those are the people you get to. I mean, your friends and all that's cool. Your brother, sister, dog, your girlfriend, boyfriends, husband, wife, wonderful. But sometimes when you're in a deep pain, it's better to go and talk to somebody that's wise, somebody that's been through a little bit of life. You know, um, as I was growing up, you know, I had friends, but a lot of times I like to hang with their older brothers and sisters or their mamas and daddies and uh, aunties. You know, I would sit around and I wouldn't, let me tell you, I wouldn't talk, but I'd sit there. And that's probably why they let me sit there because I didn't talk. You know what I'm saying? I just absorb. You know what I'm saying? And what I do know is if you find somebody that's old and wise, that's somebody to talk to. That's somebody to talk to. Now, we've got a lot of old fools out here. We see them all the time. But somebody that's old and wise and let them have some spirituality, they can give you what you, they can give you, they can tell you how to get yourself out of something. You know what I'm saying? As well as how to let go of that pain. You know, because you have to get it out. You have to get it out in order to let it go. If that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So that means you got to tell somebody. You got to cry about it. And you got to pray about it. Right? And um, whatever put you in that pain. So let's say you broke up with somebody. And it hurt your heart. Now that's a pain they don't have no medicine for. There ain't no medicine for heartbreak. Right? Ain't no medicine for heartbreak. Right? You got to go through it. So again, this is where you have to assess the situation. Was that person for me? What you know? Do, do I keep picking these same kind of people? Um, you know, you have to ask yourself the questions. You know, I told you before in that toolbox, you need the assessment. Assessment. So what did what brought me to this pain? What brought me to this pain? How can I not have this sort of pain again? Or maybe you will. Like I said, life comes. Life comes. You know, and, and sometimes it ain't nothing to do with it. But if you if you're in pain because of <clears throat> the mate that you picked, <clears throat> excuse me, don't pick that type of mate again. Because a lot of times we pick the same people over and over and over again. And a lot of times it's based on not this, but the physicalities, right? It's based on physicalities. You know, or sometimes we're drawn or we're, we we sent out. I don't know how you do it. I ain't figured it out yet. Somebody drop down in the comments and tell me how to not do that shit. Um, you know, we attract the wrong people, right? Um, that's what we, we, that's the signals we sending out. Now, how you not do that? I don't know. Again, somebody drop down in the comments and let me know, right? Um, if you have that magical skill where you can, uh, attract good people as far as a mate, let me know. But, um, yeah, so you have to assess yourself. But, you know, most definitely it's okay to cry. It's okay to reach out. And a lot of times, like I said, when you when you keep it to yourself, you, you're not you hurting yourself because you don't have nobody to to bounce that, sh what you're thinking off. You know, you need to tell somebody how you think it. And I think a lot of times, especially when I'm not an expert, I'm just giving my what I think, is when people are committing suicide, there were signs, right? And somebody had just reached out to them. You know, just reached out to him. You know what I'm saying? And held him close. Like, you know, if I have a girlfriend, especially my girlfriend, my sisters, whoever, right? If they allow me, if they got a problem, and I know they got a problem. I, uh, granted, life is busy. I'm busy, right? Because I'm doing a lot of things. I'm thinking of a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm in two different, I'm, you know, I've moved somewhere else, and I'm trying to get that together. So I don't really have a lot of time, a lot of nothing for nobody else. But a lot of times, not right now, but a lot of times, if I have a friend or something that's in need, I will try to constantly check on them. If nothing, if it ain't nothing but a text, if it ain't nothing but a text, you know, I might not have time to talk, might not want to talk, but if it's just a text to let them know that I'm thinking about you, I'm praying for you, and I got you, and you're going to come up out of this. That's what I try to do, right? Um, and you know, if I have time to talk, like, you know, uh, me and my sister, we, we talk, you know what I'm saying? Um, but a lot of times, me and my girlfriends are talking, but sometimes I just don't have the time, you know what I'm saying? Um, 
because like I said, I am busy. You know, again, I'm going to talk about my journey to Charlotte um, in, the, in the next month or so. Uh, but on my way, my journey to get here, it took a lot. It took a lot of sacrifice. I didn't really have n nothing for nobody, right? Um, but again, you know, when you're in pain, you reach out to somebody that, that can take the time with you. And it's okay to you want somebody to love on you. It's okay to want somebody to... Um, to uh, let you cry on their shoulder. It's okay. And we have to stop thinking that that's you weak or something. Because that's life. Shit. God gave you them emotions and tears and shit. What did he give them to you for? Right? So if you got to cry, cry. The problem is, once again, I'm going to say, is judgment. People will judge you. Or you weak. Or you this or you that. So what? So what? That ain't the person to talk to. If that person saying that, that's not the person to talk to. Because when you're going through something, you need somebody that's going to embrace you. You need somebody that's going to embrace you, whether it's physically or emotionally. You need somebody to embrace you. don't want to hear it, girl. You, why you do that? You told you not to fuck with that nigga. I told you not to do that. I told you not to. That ain't what you want to hear at that moment. That's come later on. Right now, what I need is love. That's the way you get rid of the pain. Somebody love on you. You know what I'm saying? Somebody loving on you. You know, or allowing you to have your space to get it together. But no, I'm right here. I ain't going nowhere. I'm right here. You, you may not want to talk. A lot of times when you're in pain, you don't want to talk. But you just want that person there. You just want to feel their energy. So I know how to do that too. You know, because I have children. So sometimes they don't want to talk. They don't want to hear none of that shit you're talking about. But you just know what they can put their hands on you. I'm right here. I'm right here when you need me, right? So, um, you know, pain is hard. Pain is suffering. You know, and, and nobody wants to suffer. Nobody wants to suffer, right? But I just, I, I, I just think that um, you need to reach out to somebody, you know, and you need to have a good spiritual, um, you know, some spirituality in your life, right? You need spirituality because that'll get you through anything. You know, like I said last week, you know, I give, I give, I give it all to God, right? Whether it's good or bad, but I give it to God because He's the one that's always right there. You know, always right there. And I don't like, and that's another thing about the dating world. When I meet guys who don't have any spirituality or believe in some old weird shit, I don't fool with them. Because we can't cross them energies. We, we can't, that don't work. You know what I'm saying? So you got to find somebody on the same page as you, right? So, you know, like I said, that's how I deal with pain. I, I cry, cry till you feel cleansed. Cry till you've had enough. You know, sometimes you got to go cry in private. You know, I've been at work and had a middle little baby breakdowns. Just tell my supervisor, I got, hey, I need a minute. And I got to go into the bathroom and cry for a minute. Come on back out and I'm refreshed, I'm rejuvenated and going back to doing my job, right? Uh, when I had kids, I had to learn how to cry in silence without letting them hear. That's, you know how hard that is? Um, I had to learn how to cry, you know, with myself. You know what I'm saying? Um... And not and not loudly, right? And go on with life like nothing is wrong, you know. Uh, so you know, pain. If you got a big supportive group, that's wonderful. Cause pain is hard to deal with when you're alone. And I don't wish that on anybody. I don't wish that on anybody, you know. So again, guys, when you're going through pain, pray about it, cry about it, talk about it. You know what I'm saying? And get it out of you and put it out there. Put it out there. You know what I'm saying? where it need to be just get it out of you okay um you know uh that's that's all really pretty much i can say about that you know what i'm saying because i you know that's what i do that's you know it's, it's it's not a big thing you know it's a big thing if you make it a big thing but uh <clears throat> a lot of times once you get them tears out you can think better you know, once you get that crown, I can see what, what happens is you stifle yourself. This is just what I'm saying. You stifle yourself when you holding those emotions in. Let that shit out. Let it out. Cleanse it out so you can start anew. You know what I'm saying? Let it out. And, you know, you go to yourself and you cry. You pray, God, let me get through this. Whatever you need to pray about. And then, um, you know, that's it. You know what I mean? Um, because it's going to happen again gonna happen again and again right but you just want to make yourself better so each time that you go through that you're better and it doesn't take as long to get through it you know what i'm saying you can say you know what it is you recognize it i'll say i see it you know i'm gonna I'm I'm cry about it i'm gonna pray about it i'm gonna step on with my life right the problem is like i said last week is when people get stuck in that bullshit you know what i'm saying you can get stuck in that you can you can be in there too long don't be in there too long mm-hmm -mm. 
Don't be in there too long. You know what I'm saying? Now, grieving and all that, that's something. That's another whole other animal. But just pain from some mistakes in life or some stumble blo stumbling blocks in life, pain from that, don't sit in that shit too long. Because that's when you can't get back up. That's when you, you don't care anymore and you, um, you know, you've given up on life. Never give up on life. Life is wonderful. Life is wonderful. You know what I'm saying? I don't, <clears throat> listen, I'm happy. For the most part, all the time. I have baby breakdowns because, I'm, you know, that's what I do, right? Nobody don't see that. You know what I'm saying? That's how I keep myself good, right? But um, even during this COVID, this COVID is messing with emotions. It's messing with people's emotions, right? Everybody's anxious. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's pain. Because you don't know what the fuck the world going to end today, tomorrow. You don't know what the fuck going to happen, right? So, um. You have to stay, that's where your spiritual life comes in. You have to stay uh, prayed up. You have to stay centered. You know, you have to stay away from negative people. That's another thing. When you're in pain, don't go around them negative people. Oh, my God. That'll make them negative energies. Because, mm -mm. see, that stuff will lay in your head, sit in your head, and have you thinking all crazy. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do not do that. You know, be around some positive people. I don't, you know, hippies. I don't know what they is. Just get around some positive. I love the world. I love life. Sunshine. You know, get around some of that. You know what I'm saying? Get around some of that because uh, if you if you if you around some old negative and ain't doing nothing, ain't going nowhere, don't know how you ain't never experienced what you experienced, don't know, uh, ain't don't much care about life. They just going along day to day. Get away from them, okay? But anyway, guys. You know, I'm talking about pain, and like I said, just to, just to recap, you know what I'm saying? Cry. Number one, cry. Number two, pray. Number three, get around some positive folks that love you, okay? And let it out. All right, guys. Um, thanks for being part of my um, free game Friday. Thanks for being a part of the um, Jackie with a Q. You know, uh, like, share, subscribe, tell your friends, you know, support me. Um, this is a new endeavor. I ain't going to stop, so you might as well support me anyway. I ain't going to stop doing it. But, um, uh, you know, just uh, stay safe, guys. You know, I can't stress that enough about the staying safe. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to go into the horror stories and all that right now. But um, just stay safe, okay? And thanks for supporting me. Have a great day. And I'll see you next Friday on Free Game Friday. Bye-bye.